I just found out something insane today that I had no idea about. Richard Simmons has been missing for like a decade. Now, I realize most of you are like eight years old, so you're probably thinking, who the fuck is Richard Simmons? So back in the 80s and 90s and even into the 2000s, Richard Simmons was a fitness icon, a guru, if you will, and a huge media personality just because of how he was. Richard was born as Milton Teagle Simmons back in 1948, which I absolutely get why he changed his name to Richard, because Milton Teagle is like the worst name I can think of. Richard had gained an interest in fitness after his own weight loss journey from battling obesity since the age of four. His weight peaked at 270 pounds as an adult, but after moving to LA in the 1970s, he gained an interest in fitness and wanted to set up studios that didn't just cater to people who were already in peak physical condition. Richard wanted a gym that catered to the people who needed help the most, the chronically overweight, elderly, and people who had weight-related health conditions. So he opened an exercise studio called the Anatomy Asylum, which was later named to Slimmons, cute, like Simmons, Slimmons. This gym taught people how to have a healthier relationship with food and use portion control, and they were one of the first non-judgment zone gyms with a supportive atmosphere for all body types. This approach, along with his own energetic personality, made Richard himself famous. He was known to do a lot of infomercials promoting his workout tapes and different products related to weight loss and fitness. He primarily focused on aerobics and helping people lose weight, but he'd also wear these fun, flamboyant outfits, which everyone remembered, and his bubbly personality really sealed the deal. He went on to have a ton of guest roles on various TV shows and movies, as well as some recurring roles. He was making fitness tapes, promoting products, and he continued teaching classes at his gym. He also got his own Emmy Award-winning talk show in the 1980s, which was called The Richard Simmons Show. And he continued to do the same sort of work throughout the 90s and well into the 2000s. There's been a lot of speculation on Richard's personal life, but he has remained single over the years and never discussed his orientation on whether or not he's gay or straight. But he was an avid dog lover and at one time had eight Dalmatians, the last one dying in 2014. Now, after the death of his last dog, which is really the only thing that seems like it could have been a catalyst for all this, some weird things happened with Richard. After 40 years of running a gym and being in the spotlight, Richard suddenly stopped making any public appearances at all. He stopped talking to all of his friends, he wasn't seen by anyone, so no one knows what happened and there wasn't really a lot of media attention around his disappearance. People first noticed something was up when he stopped showing up to his classes at the Slimmons studio, which was very out of character because he always showed up and had perfect attendance. Staff were later notified that Richard had a knee injury, but he didn't call ahead of time to let anyone know and he just continued to miss classes. He also didn't show up to Joan Rivers' funeral and the two had been very close friends for years. So it would have just been really strange for Richard not to have shown up to the funeral or not to have sent a gift or anything, even if he did have a knee injury. By 2016, the Slimmon studio closed down after not having any word from Richard in two years. Then there began a rumor that he was being held hostage by his housekeeper. But Richard did a phone interview with the Today Show where he denied all these rumors. And and I'm just sort of enjoying the day. You sound good. It's a sound very few people these days get to hear. In fact, Richard's isolation has been so startling, it has led some of his friends to question if he is being held in his house against his will. What do you make of people being fearful that you're being held up in your own house, that you've become a recluse, that, you know, perhaps people such as your housekeeper are are in control of what you're doing. No one is holding me in my house as a hostage. You know, I do what I want to do as I've always done. So people should sort of just believe what I have to say because like I'm Richard Simmons. I just wanted to ask you point blank about your housekeeper. Is she in any way, is she still employed by you? Is there any issue where you feel she is is controlling you or having any oh, kind of undue silly. influence? Mm -hmm. That's just very silly. Today, Sarah Dallas has been with me for 30 years. It's almost like we're a married couple. But I think your 
friends or people that have spoken to reporters are saying, but it's not like you to just lose touch completely. I just sort of wanted to be a little bit of a loner for a while. You know, I had hurt my knee, Savannah, and I had um, some problems with it. And then the other knee started to give me trouble because I've taught like thousands and thousands of classes. Mm. And, you know, right now I just want to sort of, you know, just take care of me. And was this a conscious decision? I just really don't want to do anything. You know, I just don't want to be traveling anymore. It certainly has taken its toll on me. There were also rumors from certain tabloids that said Richard was transitioning into a woman. And that's why he had been out of the spotlight for so long, so he could one day reemerge after he had all these surgeries and went through hormones. But Richard actually sued those tabloids for defamation, and his attorneys totally shot down this trans rumor saying that it was a total lie. They said Richard was not a trans woman and he had no desire to transition into a woman. But Richard lost the defamation lawsuit and had to pay legal fees to the tabloids. And this was because the judge ruled that misidentifying someone as transgender wasn't a defamation to their character. In 2017, the LA police went to Richard's home to do a welfare check. And they later said Richard was perfectly fine, he was just doing his own thing right now and that's his business. A month later, Richard was in the hospital with some stomach pains, and he posted to Facebook for the first time in a year with a photo of himself saying, I'm not missing, I'm just a little under the weather. In 2018, Richard sued a private investigator for placing a tracking device on his vehicle. This PI had actually been hired by a tabloid a year earlier, and the tracking device had been on Richard's car for that long. Since then, there will occasionally be an article about Richard on TMZ or in a tabloid, but no one has really seen him out in public and he hasn't been in the media at all. Especially since COVID, really no word has came from Richard. Everyone who has supposedly had contact just states that Richard is fine and it's no big deal. Like he's just doing his own thing, which may very well be the case, but it's now been almost a decade since he's been seen out in public, which is kind of weird. I can understand the knee problems and maybe just wanting to take a break for a while or even permanently, but the fact that he just cut everyone off and hasn't been seen in public in almost 10 years is very bizarre.